Life of Sporus. Nero, the Roman emperor who ruled from 54 BC till 68 BC. Born in 37 BC. Real name Lucius Domitius Ahenobarbus. Blonde hair and blue eyes. Sporus, the Roman empress. Born in either 49 or 51 BC, real name Lucius Cestius Papius Sabinus. Scarlet ginger hair and brown eyes. Sporus was a young slave boy who resembled Papia Sabina, Nero's third wife whom he kicked to death while she was pregnant. Nero regretted killing her so he found Sporus, a slave who was working around the palace. Nero took him, castrated him, married him and dressed him as a woman, Papia's clothes for the rest of his life. Their wedding took place in 67 BC when Nero was 29 years old and Sporus either 16 or 18. After that Sporus never seen or talked to his mother again and his dad was dead since he was a little boy. Someone even said that if Nero had a mom like Sporus he would have been a good person because Sporus was a good person who cried a lot behind closed doors. The people of Rome hated him. They were screaming mean things to him like calling him a freak and a jinx. The women around the palace would even hit him and make fun of him because he was cross-dressed, they called him a jinx because he had a lot of bad luck and every man who was his lover got bad luck. And didn't rule for long. In 68 BC Nero committed suicide because he believed it was a better death than being torn apart alive by the Roman people. Because of his outrageous behavior throughout his reign, Emperor Nero created more and more political enemies. Sporus refused to kill himself with Nero. Sporus was then took under the wing of Nymphidius Sabinus, but he was killed by guards when he tried to declare himself emperor. In 69 BC Sporus got involved with Emperor Otho who was also Papia Sabina's ex-husband until Nero forced them to divorce so he could have her. Both Otho and Nero called Sporus Papia and had raped him. After just three months of ruling, Otho lost to Vitellius. The only reason Sporus couldn't be the emperor was because he was castrated. Vitellius hated Sporus. The fact he got turned into a woman and was a trophy for Nero, now being the lover of his enemy he defeated. Vitellius decided to use Sporus as a victim for entertainment at a gladiator show. A fatal reenactment of the rape of Proserpina. Being raped either by gladiators or a bull then having his throat cut. Sporus, either 18 or 20 years old, in order to avoid this public humiliation, killed himself before it could happen.